Hello and welcome to another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne Laflam. And I'm Ray Duval from Ultimate Technographics. Well, welcome, Ray, and thank you for coming tonight. Thank you. So maybe you can um, tell us a little bit about Ultimate Technographics and the different solutions that you offer? Yeah, definitely. Ultimate Technographics uh, has been uh, uh, doing imposition software solutions for 26 years now. We specialize in imposition software to provide automation, uh, but also finishing software automation to automate the finishing process as well. Um, we provide a vast array of solutions to cover offset uh, printers need, digital printing, and also large format, uh, providing different solutions really for all kinds of, of imposition need for all customers. Great. Um, well, maybe we could talk a little bit about how your software integrates with Enterprise 32. Yeah, definitely. So from Enterprise 32, uh, we integrate with the Gangrun Wizard module. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, this particular module of ours is called Autoflow Estimator. And it provides a data connection to really take the gang run and uh, provide the data back into EPMS so that you can have the percentage, the number of repetitions or ups uh, that would go on a plate or sheet. And uh, actually, uh, you're going to show customers how this uh, uh, complete integration works in EPMS with the Autoflow Estimator. Okay, so let's go take a look. Uh, before we do, I just want to mention that it does require on the enterprise side that you have a product called um, EPMS JDF Connect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go take a look. All right, so in enterprise, I'm going to first go into our interface connections, which is under the utilities menu, just to show you um, how we set this up. We have added an application here for ultimate imposition, and really the only thing you need to set up here is, your, is uh, a folder for importing and exporting files. This is where the files are going to go as we send data to Autoflow and as, as data comes back. Um, with that set up, I'm also just going to show you I, how we have the Autoflow estimator running in the background here. And I'm going to just kind of leave this window open up here in the corner. And I'm just going to go to the settings here and show you here that we basically have the same folders um, set up in here for importing and exporting the files. So let's go into Enterprise and take a look. So I'm going to open up Estimating Order Entry. And of course, we need to go into our work and process list. And you'll see here that I have four business card orders. There are four different orders, came in for different customers, different quantities, and they can even be different sizes. Um, so I'm going to gang these jobs. I'm going to go to the job planning screen and go into the gang run wizard. And I'm going to select my template for the gang run. So I'll come down and pick my category. Select my gang template. Now we do also have an option here um, for being able to pick jobs of different sizes. In this case, Mine are all the same size, so it won't matter. But I'm going to hit the Find Orders, and it finds my four orders here. And then I can click on that Autoflow XML Output button. And what that will do when I click on it is it's going to send the information for these uh, four orders to Autoflow. And in the background, Autoflow is uh, taking that information and building the information that's going to be needed for the gang run. So we can see that it, that happened here. So there should be a file for me to retrieve. So now I can hit the Retrieve Autoflow file, and it's going to look in my import folder for that file. I can select it here. And then it's going to open up um, what it's created for the gang run. So you'll see my four jobs with the particular percentage that each job is as part of the gang. And now if I wanted to create the actual gang run, I'd hit that Save Gang Run Job. And now I get my typical gang run job screen. You'll see that it, it lets me know um, that that's been created. From here, I could do as I normally would in Enterprise and print the job ticket or print the gang run ticket. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. So that entire process that you just have shown basically takes a group of different products. In this case, you use business cards, but it could be as well, like you said, any, any products of different sizes mm -hmm. combined to them together. And then Autoflow creates the data to report back which is what you've seen in terms of percentage of, of, uh, of uh, um, occupancy on the actual plate or sheet size mm -hmm. and then number of repetition. And then the imposition is created by ImposTrip automatically. So in this entire process, what we have not seen yet is the plate being created or the sheet being outputted to a different device, which all happens automatically. And let me show you okay. uh, quickly in ImposTrip 
uh, how this process is done. So what you've seen is the EPMS process of uh, creating the gang run, going into auto flow to conf confirm the data back into EPMS, and then ImposTrip, which is uh, the tool that will generate the imposition, takes this data and generates the imposition back. So I've created a quick example with, in this case, the same business card, but it's the same process as what you did with four business card in your gang run. It would generate the uh, imposition with this batch together and generate the output, in this case for a plate, or it could be for uh, a digital device or a large format device. Uh, an impost trip can not only do this, but also can generate the impositions for any types of offset jobs or digital jobs or large format jobs, uh, book on demand, um, um, variable data jobs, uh, transactional data, and booklet application, all the binding methods, whether it's step and repeat, saddle stitch, or perfect bound for books, including the autoflow, which is what we've used today uh, to create the imposition for this gang run, um, is part of ImposTrip. And of course, this is completely automated. Combining it with EPMS provides a completely automated solution to provide the gang run output, but also all the different outputs for different printing needs. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Um, now, what if some of our customers you know, wanted to learn a little bit more about your software and the solutions that you offer, maybe even wanted to get a trial version? Is that possible? Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, they can get trial licenses of all our applications, fully functional products. They can also get, as you said, webinars, uh, which are one-on-one -on -one or you know, groups of people can participate in these webinars. And we have a team of experts that have a deep knowledge uh, of offset and digital printing needs. Uh, being 26 years in the mm -hmm. business doing impositions, of course, uh, our team members have a lot of knowledge. So these webinars are really, really rich in terms of content. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Joanne. And thank you for joining us for another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne Laflamme. And I'm Marie Duval from Ultimate Technographics. Please look forward for more to come.